VTube Studio Mobile is the number one go-to application for mobile VTubers. So whether you're on Android or Apple, this is the tutorial for you. The first thing we're gonna do is open up the App Store if you're on iPhone or the Play Store if you're on Android. With your preferred store now open, we're gonna type into the search field for VTube Studio and install it. Now that VTube Studio Mobile is installed, let's open it up. When the app opens up, it's gonna ask us for some permissions. We wanna say yes or allow to those permissions. We also wanna make sure that our phone is connected to a five gigahertz network. On the app screen, we wanna click on the little red person icon on the top left-hand side, and then click on import model. Once we do that, it's gonna give us an install path or where we need to drop our model into. Unfortunately for this next step, we have to connect our phone to a PC. Due to some restrictions with Android and Apple, there is just simply no other way of doing this. For Android, what we want to do is just click on our phone, go to internal storage, click on Android, then we want to click on data, then we want to find the one folder that says VTube Studio, go into files, once we're in files, we want to find live 2D models, and that's where we're going to drag and drop our model into. Please remember that VRM files will not work for this. This has to be a 2D model. So you're gonna to have to drop in your folder. With iTunes open, all we wanna do now is just click on our phone, click on VTube Studio to open up its folders. Then we wanna click on Live 2D Models, save it to somewhere we can find it so we can drop in our file. We then wanna open that folder, drag and drop our Live 2D model into that folder then you'll see our avatar has been added into that folder. We then want to grab that folder that we just dropped our model into, drag and drop it back into iTunes, and then click replace. And just like that, your avatar has been added to mobile VTube Studio. We want to reopen the application, click on the little person icon. Then we want to scroll over to the right a little bit until you find your model. Click on it so it can load your avatar. A warning may appear, just click OK. And just like that, you now have a working model in the mobile version of VTube Studio. Let's now get our avatar ready for some streaming. On the left-hand side of the screen, let's click on the green little icon there, and then scroll through the backgrounds until we could find the one that we think might match us the best. I will probably end up going for a green screen for myself. The next thing we wanna do is click on the little pink icon, which is the gear icon. We're gonna scroll through some of the settings. A lot of these settings I'm gonna say probably leave on default. I don't really see anything. You could turn on the use microphone to match your lips up better when you are talking. We're gonna click on the camera icon. And again, a lot of this is gonna be staying the same except for link eye blinking. I'm gonna to say to always. So no matter which position we're in, it just blinks like it probably should. We're gonna click on the person icon, and again, all this stuff, we're just gonna leave it as default for now. Uh, if you guys want more advanced tutorial, we'll uh, probably cover that down the road. Now that our mobile version of VTube Studio is set up, let's get it connected to Twitch and then YouTube. Add time. Are you a new VTuber or an experienced VTuber, and you might need a little bit of help? Consider joining my Discord. We have thousands of members, tons of different channels to give you the proper assistance that you may require. Links are in the description down below. Once you open up the Twitch app, what you want to do is click on the plus icon, click on stream games, click on just chatting and edit your stream title to whatever it needs to be. A pop-up will appear saying that it's going to record literally everything on your screen. So make sure you don't have anything naughty on the background. And up here on top menu will appear. We're going to have to just scroll down that and find Twitch and then click it. This will allow to run the application on top of VTube Studio. You'll then see this screen appear with the go live button on the bottom left hand side. You can then click that if you wish. But what I do suggest is you switch back over to the VTube Studio app first and then click the go live button. Once you click the go live button, chat will appear on the bottom left hand side as it normally would and you are now streaming on Twitch. For some reason, Twitch wouldn't let me screen record while it was running, so I can't really show you a good example of it, but trust me, it does work. With YouTube open, we'll wanna click on the plus icon on the bottom middle. Be careful because the YouTube streaming app will actually open up your camera. We then wanna click on the edit button and then scroll down until we see screencast. We wanna scroll down just a little bit more and make sure we check our advanced settings and make sure live chat is turned on and other features that we want on are on. We then want to go through our select audience, make sure that is set for the correct settings, and then we want to click on the next button. 
and appear on top menu will appear. We want to scroll down until we find YouTube and make sure we turn it on. This will allow YouTube to overlay on VTube Studio so we can see chat and all that fun jazz. Once we're done doing all that, we want to flip over back to YouTube Studio and well, stream like we normally would. Now that you're all done, hit that gold live button and make some content. I'm your VTuber Senpai. I stream here every Friday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube by the end of 2026. So your assistance would be very much appreciated. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.